too long. Engage the lawnmower. And it is simply blown away I'll by that. that. But uh, we'll I'll work on that. Nobody was very interested. So at the hotel that night to cheer ourselves up, Hammond and I decided to improve May's roles. What are you doing? Thread that through his car to the horn, in such a way, go and find the horn. Do, 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 do the back seat. Don't knock my beer over. Don't knock my beer over. Don't knock your beer over. The next morning, we woke up in Switzerland. Only this was taller and warmer and better in every way. It was also more peaceful as I'd fitted some silences to my jack. On the upside, my new exhaust system is much quieter than before. On the downside, it's making a really annoying jangling sound, uh, and I can't see where I'm going. Still, could be worse. Hammond. <laughs> yes? Can you hear a sort of blowing noise? Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> What's the matter? Well, I, I suspect you know, but I'll explain it to you anyway. Breaking sends a horn. <laughs> so they've, they've given me an interesting game now. Try to avoid break. I'm going to have to break here. We continued onwards, determined to take our trade mission into the heart of the Himalayas. But the further north we went, the fewer people there were. By mid-morning, the only business that had been done involved Richard buying a traditional local hat. So we kept on climbing. This is the road to China. Or Tibet. Can I say Tibet? I'm not sure what the politically correct way of saying that is. Doubtless the BBC has some ancient way of saying it. We're at 12,000 feet. Hell of a drop on the right. But it's OK because there's a big row of pebbles to stop me going over. On the plus side, though, at this height, the views were staggering. Oh, this is something else. <laughs>